The Duralastic F666 by KLB is a reusable permanently elastic long stretch compression bandage. Long stretch bandages are used in compression therapy for venous diseases and for the treatment of oedema caused by other factors such as post operative and post traumatic oedema and cyclical idiopathic oedema. Duralastic F is indicated for an ankle brachial pressure index ABPI of 0.8 to 1.3. Long stretch bandages can also be used as a support and relief dressing for injuries of the musculoskeletal system. Compression bandages with Duralastic F are suitable for immobile patients. Long stretch bandages such as the Duralastic F must be applied to intact skin only. Therefore, first treat wounds with a suitable wound dressing. Then apply the long stretch bandage to approximately 50% of its stretch capacity or as directed by a physician. When applying the bandage, ensure that the patient's foot is placed at an angle of 90 degree to the lower leg and that this angle is maintained throughout the entire application. Protect the skin of the lower leg by applying a tubular bandage that projects about 20 cm beyond the toes and above the patella. Then apply padding made of synthetic wadding or foam in spiral fashion with a 50% overlap from the metatarsophalangeal joints, moving from the medial to the lateral side, up to two finger widths below the patella and popliteal fossa. Visible and palpable tendons and bony structures are additionally padded by applying additional padded layers or by pleating the padding over vulnerable areas. Then apply the long stretch bandage, moving also from the medial to the lateral side. Position the bandage in the region of the back of the foot, in the middle oblique to the D1 and fix the bandage with your right hand. Apply the long stretch bandage in spiral fashion, starting with the upper portion of the ball of the foot. Extend the long stretch bandage only to approximately 50% of its capacity. Then apply the bandage along the metatarsophalangeal joints and again along the ball of the foot to the back of the foot and wrap it around the Achilles tendon and heel. Encircle the plantar portion of the heel with a bandage in the direction of the medial malleolus without covering the instep and repeat until the heel is well covered. Apply the bandage above the upper ankle by moving from the medial to the lateral side and extending the bandage to approximately 50% of its capacity. Then continue applying the bandage in spiral fashion with 50% overlap, moving in the direction of the knee up to two finger widths below the patella and popliteal fossa. Starting at the middle of the calf, where the lower leg tapers again below the knee, moderately reduce the extension of the long stretch bandage to under 50% of its capacity. Secure the end of the bandage with adhesive strips. Pull the tubular bandage located above the patella and beyond the toes back over the compression bandage. The patella and toes should now be visible. Secure the ends of the tubular bandage by applying a self-adhesive bandage in a circular fashion. This procedure will ensure that the bandage turns remain stable and securely in place on the foot, heel and lower leg during exposure to shearing forces. Be aware that it may be necessary to adjust the application technique to suit the anatomic and pathophysiological characteristics of the patient.